Um, all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachakodash. Double honors to my elders and apostles at Great Millstone. Peace, safety, much love, and blessing to the Akim across the four corners of the earth that are pushing out this truth and truth and sincerity and putting the lives on the line to do so. I want to say shalom to you, brothers. I'm the brother of Rock from GMS Atlanta, uh, back in the spirit with another lesson, and Lord willing, this lesson be edifying. To an elect member of two I have an article here On screen from the USA Today And it's uh, Entitled I didn't feel a thing Vice President Mike Pence gets COVID-19 vaccine on camera <laughs> Okay Now since they've Rolled out This vaccine There's been several Questioning videos All right, Empty syringes uh, there was a nurse, I believe, in Chicago that got it. And minutes ap after she uh, got the vaccine, she passed out right on stage. All right. Now, there have also been, you know, articles coming out of side effects. You know, people's faces being distorted, tongues swelling up like balloons, so on and so forth, man. And. You know, the prophets of the Lord has been warning you, you know, about this devil and about the, the, the vices that he's coming with to deceive the mass majority of the population. OK. And we've been telling you all, man, you know, starting with our apostles on down here, at Great Millstone, that there's something going on, man. And that, you know. Basically, man, don't take the vaccination. OK, while these other counts may have other things to say as far as the vaccine, the truth lies with Great Millstone. All right. And the proof is in the pudding. You see all of these events uh, occurring after people have been uh, administered the vaccination. OK, so the proof is in the pudding, so to speak, man, you know, oh, oh <laughs> fucking nurse passed out. Uh, yesterday man after taking the vaccine now here this guy Mike Pence supposedly taking the vaccine on camera okay and then there was a video surfacing or going viral of an empty syringe being uh, or or a guy or a doctor with an empty syringe acting as if he's injecting a person okay Hey, man, Esau, the, the cat is out the bag, man. You know, you have to come with something else. People are being, uh, people are being woken up, man, on the spiritual level. And also, people are woke because of technology. And you're not just able to do the same old flea flicker anymore, okay? You're just going to have to outright just come out and show your face, man. Because, you know, the scriptures tell you that, well, uh, that you're going to come down with great wrath because you know you have a short time. So what the hell are you waiting on, man? Stop pussyfooting, you know, and, and trying to deceive people. We all know who the devil is, man. And if you don't know, you've been living under a rock, man. We bring out these type of lessons on a constant basis, man, across the four corners of the earth. Feeding the flock of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai. So this article says, I didn't feel a thing, Vice President Mike Pence. Uh, gets COVID-19 vaccine on camera. Vice President Mike Pence, the head of the White House Coronavirus Task Force, was vaccinated. <coughs> was vaccinated for COVID-19 Friday morning at a live televised event intended to build public confidence in the vaccine. I didn't feel a thing, Pence said. Well done, Pence, who wore a short sleeve shirt and a face mask sat in a chair next to an American flag and under a sign that said safe and effective. All right. This, this devil, man. Something that's good for someone or someone should take, you shouldn't have to convince them to take it, man. Why do you think there's questions about people not wanting to take it? For one, it was developed too quickly. And two, people are woken to the fact that who's the devil man who's the ultimate deceiver that's walking the, that that that's walking uh the planet earth okay it says he received the 
he received the recently approved vaccine developed by Pfizer that is being distributed throughout the country. Let me get a, a quick precept, man. This is uh, the book of Titus, chapter 3, um, and verse 3. Titus 3 and 3. For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish. All right. Now we're of the circumcision and we know the truth. You know who the true devil is that is walking to and fro on the earth. The true devil that the earth has been given into the hands of. All right. So we were once foolish and we didn't know that, you know. But now we, we, we know, man, we're not foolish anymore. This is Titus 3 and 3. For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish, disobedient, deceived. Okay. Serving divers lusts and pleasures, living in malice and envy, hateful and hating one another. But we're no longer that, man. We're no longer walking in darkness. And when I say we, I mean the men and women of the nation of Israel, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that know that they're Israelites. All right. According to the true doctrine that are not being deceived by this devil anymore. Okay. Um. A little bit more in the article. It says he received the recently approved vaccine developed by Pfizer that is being distributed through the country. Karen, and I hope this step today will be a source of confidence and of comfort to the American people. Pence said, how? We don't know what was in that syringe. That shit could have been sugar water. Okay. That shit could have been goddamn. Uh, it it could have been anything, man. How do we know that what was injected into you was the actual vaccine, man. We don't. All right. So how does that build confidence? You already not trusted, man. You know, people are already not trusting this devil as far as they can see him. But you want to sit up here and, and tell us that this 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 serum that you guys have rolled down in less than a year is 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 um safe and effective. Try again, Esau. The jig is up, man. Try again. You know, people are not buying this BS anymore, especially not the men of the Lord. We we call we we're we've been calling these events out before they even take place, man. You know. But anyway, anyway, um, this is uh the book of Second Corinthians. Uh, I believe it's um eleven and nine. Nine eleven. Second rank is two and eleven. It's lucky. Um, this is um, Second Corinthians two and eleven. Least Satan shall get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. We're not ignorant of Satan's devices, man. You know. And this latest act of the Pfizer vaccine and you trying to <laughs> convince the people that it's safe and effective is just another one of your wicked devices, man. That are we're that we're not ignorant of. That we're not ignorant of. And us being watchmen of Yahweh by Shimi Shai are going to continue to call you out on your BS, man. All right. No rest, you know, day nor night when we see these things taking place. Our job is to warn the people, man. And the warning that's going out now, man, is don't take it. Okay? Um, a little bit more in this article. It says, acknowledging that coronavirus cases and hospitalizations are still rising across the country, Pence said the way through the pandemic is vigilance and vaccine. He encouraged the public to continue to do your part through hand washing, mask wearing, and social distancing while the vaccine is being administered. <laughs> the share of Americans who now say they were masked every time they leave home has grown to 73%, up from 52% in May, according 
to a new Kaiser Family Foundation tracking poll. So these people are, it, you know, it took a while, but these people are still, you know, <laughs> obeying the laws of the land. You know, now they're starting to put masks on and they're starting to take this so-called pandemic a lot more serious than they were at first because they're seeing bodies drop. But this is all workings of Yahweh by Shimei Shah. He said in the last days that these things will be taking place, man. Famines, pestilence, you know, nations rise against nations. You know, all of the things that he spoke of in Matthew, the 24th chapter, are coming to pass. And people are realizing it, man. More people are considering themselves woke or believers of the Bible more so now than, than any other time, man, that I can recall in, the, in my 30 years of living, man. All right. So, hey, man, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. I want to end it by giving all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bahashem, Rechakodash, Shalom.